What's up guys? So uh, I'm actually on a site, um, Anglo Boer War period, large site. Um, Amphibio Multi, running four tone. And uh, this is basically my first hole. Coming out on about a 68, 70 signal. And right there you can see, a Monica Reed. Yeah, nice large one. Uh, we find plenty of these on this site. Any case, so first target, not junk, always great. And uh, I don't know if you can spot this, but while I was digging this target, right over there, surface fine, looks like a small little debuckle. Yeah. Any case, cool, next hole. Guys, literally second hole. I dug first target right over there and uh, came here about two meters. And uh, this was ringing up a little bit more iffy. Um, about a 30s, low 30s. And I uh, don't know if you can see, Right over there, something popped out. Looks like it could be a button, or um, I doubt it's a coin. Could be one of those trouser buttons. Let's have a look. Yep, exactly what it is. Those four hole trouser buttons. Um, they usually come in those low 30s, jumpy signal. But yeah, first button, second hole, great. All around this area, so this is just the hole where I found. Um, that button but um if you look closely some pottery over here I see over there some broken glass some more pottery over here so um I think I might just uh, hang around in this area and just see what I can pick up there's some nice green glass over here and this is old glass bits and bobs yeah you can see it's actually embossed has something on there so really old let's see what I can find maybe lucky find some coins or let's see all right guys next hole next target pull the casing give it a high 50s See if we can see anything on you. Now ah, focus. Yeah. Definitely period that we're looking for. Cool. Look at this guys. Surface fine. Old. Looks like a blank cartridge. And piece of glass could be a cod bottle, nice uh, embossed. Yeah, man. What's up, guys? So, just found another one of these uh, trouser buttons. Looks like it might have some uh, nice patterns, or might be the writing. Yeah, right period. It's quite deep, about 15, 20 centimeters for something small like this, coming in low 30s. Hey okay, guys, next signal. Just, um, looks like it's out of the hole. Bit jumpy, don't know what it could be. Um, let's have a look. That's why. Tip of a 303 that broke off means the other piece is probably still in here. Maybe. Don't see anything. 
but yeah so that's most probably going to be lead um, you can see it broke off over there but period Boer wall 303 yeah cool all right guys next hole whole cartridge 303 caliber British ammunition Boer wall period cool so I just came spotted this so what I've been looking for is some change in in uh, you know the ground and so on so you can see yeah I don't know if you can see but a lot of ground that just doesn't look natural you know so over there and um, yeah this whole area so I was walking a bit closer and uh, I happened to see some pottery in it laying here and I actually spotted that over there some large chunks of uh, plate or China or whatever um, and yeah so this is a little ash dump um, it's probably been dug before have a look at this old bottle just the top maybe like a medicine bottle or something super nice be nice to find something whole so uh, yeah it's crazy hot crazy 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 hot I think it's 30 degrees or 30 something degrees Celsius um, yeah still got this whole area but um, this place has been been hunted for for years and uh, um, yeah it's so it's so big um, this used to hold uh, a white concentration camp during the Boer War as well as a black concentration camp um, so I don't want to show too much detail but um, yeah I mean you can have a hundred coils hit this place uh, for years and you'll still be getting targets um, any case yeah I'll be back with you guys on the next decent target so I was just walking around after showing you guys that uh, ash dump over there um, so now I'm literally walking around two three four meters away and check at this I mean to find surface finds like these on a site that's been hunted out so many times check it there just laying there trouser button hi right, guys next hole let's check what it is it's in the plug I think it might be one of those buttons again oh, I think I saw something there we go I've found some of these in the past I'm not sure what it is Oh jeez, okay, well, I just broke it, whatever it was. It was solid. Um, extremely brittle over there. That's why it sounded like uh, one of those buttons. Same size, probably same material. Maybe like a some type of a lid or screw cover. I don't know. Any case, cool. Check this, guys. So walking, picked up the signal. And surface find. Not sure what it is. Let me try and get into the light here. But it says something uh, Cape Town. Sort of looks at the back. Some type of latch or cover or I don't know what it is. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Definitely says. Cape Town and it's period you can see this is really old let me just quickly see if I can clean it so it says 
J. Garlic, Cape Town. It was a CK. J. Garlic, Cape Town. So I'll do some research on what that could be and then I'll get back to you guys. Right, cool, really nice. Right, guys, so this was a, a very off signal. Um, started off in the 20s, uh, late 20s, early 30s. Um, and as I moved around, it started to jump between 50, 70, and then I would lose it. So I decided to dig it, but now that I've moved some ground, it's giving me a solid 89, 90 signal. So I just want to see what it is with you guys. There we are. Lead bullet tip. Also three oh three caliber. Yeah. Okay guys, just some of the finds. So so ammunition, three oh three caliber, um harmonica reeds, surface find debuckle, this little thing that I don't know. I found some of them before. It's broken now. Four button, uh, four hole button, uh, garment buttons or trouser buttons, and then this little thing that says J Garlic Cape Town. Um, I'll show you guys where this comes from if I can find any info on it, which was nice, also a nice surface find. So, yeah, didn't spend a lot of time, it's very hot, uh, but there's stuff to be found, plenty of stuff to be found, all the surface finds, and uh, I'll be back. Uh, yeah, take it easy, um, share, like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll show you guys some, some more finds. Alright, cheers.